It is a time when magic is more powerful than science, and only those who control the magic control destiny. They are the visionaries. Our Lord Darkstorm expected us back long ago. At the wages he pays us, he's lucky we're coming back at all. Boy, there! Wait! Stop! Please stop! Recon, we are late. We don't have time. How may we be of service, my man? You... you have technology. Please, help my people, the free citizens of Kemir. Kemir? One of the great centers of the old technology. Yes, it's been overrun by the jungle. No machines function there anymore, and my people starve. Please, help us. We'd better tell Darkstorm first. Can you guide us to your city? Of course. Recon? <laughs> Anything new? Yes, I just sighted Recon and Moltred. A man from Kamir stopped them and asked them for help. He's leading them back to the city. Oh, we'd better stay close on their heels. Go on, Orzan. Try reading from that book. Shankar, Freeber, Makumba, Fable. What nonsense! If mouthing distasteful syllables is the prerequisite of this new age, then I want nothing of it! But Orzan, we must repair our robot slaves. We could try to find our own food in the jungle and even begin farming for ourselves. Man, this is the age of magic, not sweat. Never have Kemirites demean their heritage by manual labor. I don't think any of us wish to start now. Roman is correct, Marna. Only robot slaves do their own work. The only activity proper for a free citizen of Kemir is to command or die in the attempt. What is this? <laughs> It represents fantastic technology. Not technology, but magic. These two knights are the masters of the new age. And if you pledge allegiance to me... Recon, it's Darkstorm, the true master of the age to whom they'll pledge. The people of Kenir bow before no one. But Orzan, Mordred has promised that their leader, Darkstorm, will give us slaves to do our work, as in the ancient days. That is the answer to our prayers. We must pledge. If you hadn't brought Darkstorm into it, these simpletons will be pledging their loyalty to you and me. And deny Darkstorm of subjects? I hope you've changed your tune by the time I return with our one and only leader. To such power, I too must bow. There goes Mordred in the dagger dart. Let's get the capture chariot out of sight. I smell rusted metal. We're close. There's the lost city of Camille. Those are spectral knights. They would condemn you to hard labor for the rest of your lives. Then they are enemies. Then capture them!
although your robot slaves may no longer function in this age of magic, if you accept my overlordship and carry out the plan we've discussed, you will soon have human slaves to carry out your every wish. <laughs> survivors from the lost city of Kamir. We, we seek only food and, and some shelter. Ah, weary travelers, I'm sure I speak for our leader, Prince Leoric. Welcome and enter. Yes. Leoric, I'm concerned. We know nothing of these people. It would be safer if they stayed outside the city walls. Ektar, have a heart. These people are suffering. All they're asking is a little food and a safe place to sleep. Yes, Galadriel's right. It's not often we can offer such simple help and do such good. People of Kamir, know that you are welcome to the hospitality of New Valarek for as long as you may need it. Leoric, Arzon and Feral haven't returned from their patrol. Well, knowing those two, they're probably out joyriding in the capture chariot. Can't this thing go any faster? I'd fly, but my wing or arm isn't quite up to it. We've got to report back. Yes, those Kamirites mean nothing but trouble for New Valaric. But after the beating the chariot's taken, we're lucky it's moving at all. Very quiet, everyone. Who goes there? Does it matter? <laughs> Open the gate and light the torch! <laughs> Guests had something to do with this. Maybe you're right, Ektar. Let's get our armor on and find out. to break up the party. <laughs> no problem. Drop in anytime. Look, by the dagger assault, our power staffs. Let's get them. Stop him, stop him, before he invents the power of his staff. <laughs> Whispered secrets of a shattered age. I summon you. Renew this sage. Comfort and wealth matters little if one is not free. Oh, and watch out behind you. Hear me, spectral knights. If you wish me to spare your leader's life, lay down your arms and surrender. As of this moment, you are all slaves. I'm sure you will agree, Leoric. Your knights will no longer need their totem powers to serve their new masters. The people of Kamir. Recon, would you do the honors? <laughs> For 
Tarzan. I may want them back someday, but for now, I give you these slaves. Darkling Lords, let us prepare for tomorrow's tournament where we'll determine who gets the captured power staffs. I too wish to compete. <laughs> I've given you slaves because it suits my purposes, but that does not make you a Darkling Lord. But Recon told me I lied. It will take more than this to conquer us. If you do not accept your fate, my proud friend, the people of New Valarak will suffer most horribly. Very well, Darkstorm. Do not harm them. We will obey. Come, Belizar. We must get settled in our new quarters. All right. Move it, slaves! Keep your hands off! Steady, Cryotech! Not now. <sighs> No, no. You're doing it all wrong. We're only human, each with our own limitations and abilities. I thought all slaves could sew. I'll do it. Galadria can't sew. The only reason the Spectral Knights are working for you is that if we don't, Darkstorm will take it out on our people. I'm sorry. All my life I have been served by robot slaves. I've never had to deal with humans before. Careful, you fool! Now pick it up, or your people will suffer! Put the cabinet here. No, wait! No! I think here is better. Although, maybe... Belazar, just because Darkstorm won't let you compete for our power staffs, don't take it out on us. We're free men and knights, which is more than I can say for you. Ektar, you keep your opinions to yourself! Both of you now, get back to work! That's it! Keep it busy! Arzon! Feral! Go back! The Darkling Lords have captured New Valaric! Close the gates! <laughs> Bravery is commendable, Feral, and your reward shall be the loss of your magical powers. Oh, I'm sorry, Feral. Leoric, so far your career as a slave has been easy. But if Arzon does not give himself up immediately, all of you will be sent to the Vanadium Mines to work until you drop. The mines were deadly for robots. I wonder how humans will fare. If Arzon does not surrender, we shall soon know. A free man surrender himself into slavery? Even to save his friends? It is too much to ask. Look! Spectral knights are so predictable. Now that the slaves are safely locked away, the tournament for the captured power staffs will begin. Arzon. I would never have asked you to do this. Leoric, I would gladly lay down my life for you and all the Spectral Knights. Leoric, do you remember what the Wisdom Owl said? Yes. Comfort and wealth matter little if one is not free. Thanks to Arzan's sacrifice, I now understand that. If I were free at the expense of my friends, I wouldn't be free at all. Exactly. Therefore, I have decided to gain my freedom by helping you gain yours. May the light shine forever! The winner of this match gains Arzon's staff! Little rodent. Virulina is the winner of the first round. I could have done that. Shh. Trying to escape? When I sound the alarm, you'll all be sent to the vanadium mines, and Dark Storm will have to make me a knight! Dark Storm! Delazar, no! My
Arna! What are you doing there? Belazar! What in the name of Iron Mountain do you want? Uh, it was nothing, Darkstorm! I could have told you that! <laughs> <laughs> Let the tournament continue! Marna, are you part of this treason? These knights are worthy of our support. And if their freedom costs us our ill-earned comfort, then so be it. My lord, do you think I might be worthy to compete for a star? Yes, Maltred. You may compete no! against Cravens! <laughs> Stand still, you miserable bug! Stay! Stay! I'll get you! I'll get you yet! The magical powers are being restored. Oh. Uh, I guess I won't be winning a power staff after all. Nor will anyone else. Packs a punch. By nature's hand, I craft my art. What once was one now fly apart. Three suns align, draw forth the light, and fill the archer's bow with might. By what creeps, what crawls, by what does not let all the crows recede and rot! Oh no, you don't! Ah! Ah! Oh, Miss Cupid, stop that and come clear! Touch all the form even frost me good fear! If the spider bites, Yorick! Yes! Knights may lose the day. Not this day. Orzan, you saved me. It was the least I could. My slaves! What is wrong? I order you to get back! We have done your work long enough! Now you! We just sent the Darkling Lords scurrying back to the rat's nest they came from. But before that, you were bitten by the Spider of Fear. So that's what that was. The fear of being forced into slavery by those I myself had enslaved. This is no fear, but the truth. We Chimerites have been so enslaved for years. Well, I, for one, intend to declare my freedom by renouncing slavery forever. Belazar, what about you? Someday, I hope to prove worthy of knighthood. But until then, 
I would like to stay here and, and help the free people of New Velaric rebuild what's been destroyed. Hmm. Sounds suspiciously like work. Yes, it will be a new experience for all us Chemirites. But I think we will find it most satisfactory.